Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to share with you some ideas, some inspiration on how to keep your legs covered in on those warmer, you know, warmer summer months uh, for whatever your reason. And this is something that I know because I've had to implement it. So for whatever your reason, whether you just didn't feel like shaving or don't want to shave or you have veins that you don't like or you have eczema or you have scars or dry skin or <laughs> you just feel your legs are too pale uh, or whatever the reason i feel like i've been across all of them at some point and so i wanted to share some ideas to stay stylish and cool during the summer and even spring months. So if you're interested to see my ideas, then just keep watching. For tip number one, I think this is everyone's go-to and it should be. It is a classic, it is timeless, it looks beautiful, it is probably my favorite <laughs> style of dress to wear and that is a maxi dress. So a maxi dress is going to go all the way to your ankle or lower and there are so many beautiful styles I, I you could pick a beautiful you know boho print or a classic solid and the flowy material looks so stylish so summery spring like that it doesn't feel off to be wearing it during those hotter months and i think that depending on the material you get uh, you can definitely get a lot of airflow they're not too hot. You can go a little more minimal on the top uh, with like a spaghetti strap option or something. Um, but yeah, there's just so many beautiful colors and fabrics in the maxi dress and it pairs so well with heels, strappy heels, you know, flats, flip flops. Uh, so tip number one is going to be the maxi dress. You can't go wrong. And stylish option number two is going to be the Palazzo pant. So I have actually really gotten into the Palazzo pants this year. So if you haven't seen my how to wear Palazzo pants uh, video, I'll link that here for you. But this kind of goes hand in hand, uh, kind of gives the same vibe as the maxi dress. So obviously it goes all the way down to you know your ankles or past and uh, very covering, but it is in a pant form. So if you don't like wearing dresses or you're gonna be somewhere really windy, it is a beautiful classic and classy option to still have that summer vibe. And if you get it in a linen, it is very airy, very wearable, uh, looks super cute, and you got your legs covered. And suggestion number three is going to be a midi length dress, which is gonna go somewhere around your calf, uh, stop somewhere around your calf, uh, which I think is beautiful on everyone. I think it is a great length. So if you are on the shorter side and a maxi dress doesn't work for you, I would opt for this. For me, I think that it it kind of gives a, a different vibe. I really feel that the maxi, it can look a little more relaxed or it's easier to kind of have a casual vibe with that. And then the midi dress length, uh, depending on the fabric, again, would be really beautiful in a linen or a satin or silk or just something really flowy and beautiful. And you can get something, you know, very A-line or very, you know, out and flowy and it, you'll definitely stay cool and that will cover up most of your leg. It usually, you know, probably goes below my calf uh, and I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'8". So hopefully that would work for you and that is another great option to keep most of your leg covered and still be cool and look classy and stylish in the warmer months. And my suggestion number four is going to be a skirt in the same lengths as you know a maxi or a midi so you can definitely get an entirely different look with a skirt and that's why i'm using it as its own suggestion even though it kind of gives the same length as a maxi or midi uh, you can just mix the textures and 
do something really fun and sparkly up top or something breezy and easy and have a really, really beautiful skirt and then you can kind of dress it up with heels or make it more casual with some uh, flat sandals. And so a skirt is a great option and there's so many uh, different styles. I mean, you could go for a crochet look if you wanted a more casual look. You could even do the denim skirt. Uh, I know that sounds hot in the summer, but some of them have pretty good slit and airflow. So if you haven't tried the denim skirt, there are many, many different styles. And I actually did a haul and a lookbook that I'll link up here and down below. Um, for you to take a look at. It, it's just such a versatile piece in a great way or a great option uh, for leg coverage, but still looking very seasonal uh, with a skirt in those warmer months. All right, and my next uh, tip or suggestion is going to be linen pants. I love linen pants. Uh, they are definitely a go-to. They are just so comfortable, so easy breezy. If you don't feel like, uh, you know, messing with a dress for whatever reason, slip on a pair of your favorite, favorite linen pants. If you don't own linen pants because you hate that they wrinkle, I know, <laughs> they do, but it is so worth it. And I would suggest having at least one or two pair um, it's just such a great go-to. They are worth the fuss. They feel great. They look great. Um, they just have such a cool and relaxed vibe and you can wear them on the hottest days of summer while still being fully covered and uh, cool at the same time. So linen pants like kimono cover up or a duster. So this may give you just enough coverage and I really love the really long all the way to my ankle, uh, you know, duster or third layer option. I think it's very dramatic, but if you get it in a kind of casual fabric, then you can wear it over a dress or over shorts and it might give you just enough coverage to feel a little more secure, whatever issues going on, but also provides just a little bit of coverage. And so I would say a long third layer in a light fabric is uh, another great option. All right, ladies. And so those were my suggestions of uh, styles that I actually wear, that I have implemented, that I find comfortable and cool uh, to have that leg coverage when it is hotter, but you don't wanna show your legs. But I did wanna throw in three others for you that I am aware of. They are not really styles that I like. Um, and you know, in fashion, Things can look good on other people that don't look good on you, or there could be things that are popular that you just don't like. And so they, uh, I would say these three fit into maybe some of these categories for me. That doesn't mean that they don't look good on someone else and they might, and they don't, you know, wouldn't look good on you. So I just wanted to throw these options out there. And uh, the first one is going to be, uh, I believe what they call culottes. And they're basically the short pants. Uh, so that is what they look like to me, short pants, but I think they're called culottes and they go kind of to your calf and they come in an array of uh, uh, fabrics. I would say like a linen or some kind of chiffon would be really nice, something flowy. It almost gives that like skirt look, but it's just shorter. So um, that is a great option to cover your legs. If that style works for you, you can definitely find something uh, flattering. I would say just be careful with that one because your shoes and what you're wearing with the top does matter. It, it can make you look uh, shorter and thicker than you might want. So that's what it does for me. So it's a style I stay away from, but if you are already petite, if you are thin, that's a great option. Um, and then maybe in the right fa fabric, you know, it would look good on you. And the next, uh, suggestion that I have would be a jumpsuit. And now there are several beautiful jumpsuits. I love the jumpsuit look on so many people. I actually even own, I think two, that I've never worn. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I don't wanna fully undress when I'm out and about, and you have to take the whole thing off. So for me, it isn't a functional piece, but it does look beautiful and it is another option. It is very stylish looking, it looks great on a lot of people, and uh, it is an option to 
you know, still stay cool and look good in those warmer months. So a jumpsuit is a great option if that is something you do not mind, uh, you know, getting into and out of, out in public. <laughs> And then my last uh, suggestion or option that I wanted to just throw out there is the Bermuda short. Um, for me, it isn't a style I like, but I have seen it look really lovely on a lot of ladies. I actually might pick up a pair or two in the kind of more trouser looking material, uh, but that you know goes almost to your knee so that's a good option to kind of keep the top area still covered uh you know you do have the bottom part exposed so this one's kind of on the line i guess it would just depend on what part of your leg are, you're covering but i think all my other tips really are great at covering you know most of your leg and uh so hopefully you got some uh, great ideas and inspiration all right, ladies, those were my tips on how to keep your legs covered in those warmer months, but stay stylish and cool. I hope that you enjoyed them. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, but really, I would just love you to come back and visit me on the next one. Uh, and if you haven't seen my 2023 trends for summer, uh, watch that video next. It's some fun looks that you get to see in that one. <laughs> And I hope that you come back and join me again. I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you soon.